Hey everyone, it's me. I know it's uh, been a week since I have been online uh, streaming and stuff. I took a break. You can check why on my Twitter, which you can follow me right there. You can see it. Yeah, I'm taking every opportunity I can to plug. I need to grow as a creator. Uh, I'm making moves. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I'm back and we're doing something a bit different today because I just felt like it, you know? And I want to try it out, see how it goes. And today, uh, we're going to world build. We're going to build a world from scratch that I haven't even started thinking about. We're going to go through my process of building worlds because I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. I really enjoy playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's one of the best games. That's my favorite TTRPG, tabletop role playing game for anyone who doesn't know what that is. And, uh,. I just really enjoy it and have a lot of fun playing, you know, great, it's awesome. Uh, and I've DM'd a bit, aka Dungeon Mastered, Game Mastered, I've run the games, and we're going through my process of how I make a world, and usually it takes me days, weeks to actually figure something out. So we're going to see how long this takes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. So here I have a map maker called Incarnate and I have notes for a new world and a fantasy name generator that I use for like everything. I'm going to turn my music down real quick. Uh, but, you know, we're just... uh, First thing I like to do is I like to figure out like the mythos of a world and write notes about it and like... Every world I make, so we're going to go back to the maps I have here. Every world I've made has a specific defining feature that I add to it. So, for instance, this is Dragua. Dragua is ooh, a... Uh, actually, wait, let's start with Calderon. Cause, so, Calderon, the defining trait was these the divide among these two, the two big nations. Uh, Arsis and Cardon. And sadly, or not sadly, but like, we never did get to use the full extent of this world because of how the campaign went and how I kind of flubbed it. It was my first campaign. This is the first world I ever made. And yeah, so, but the defining thing was going to be, this is like a neutral area and these two are at war all the time and yada yada. But there's big bridges, you know, like this, this is a substantial river. Like, if you've ever been across the, uh... Mm, what's it called? Mississippi. It was, like, bigger. It's really big. It's, like, almost like the French-British Channel. Is that what it's called? French Channel? British Channel? Well, those two. English Channel. I, think. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, that's why I kind of thought of it as. And I really liked this world. Uh... And, like, I found... Oh, wait, I didn't want to edit. I just wanted to look. Calderon, like, Arsis was, like, a very empirical medieval society. Well, Cardon was more of a imperialistic Japanese society. It was really... I was a weeb. I still am a weeb, so I really liked making Japanese societies. They're fun to make. Because you get to dive into a culture. That's what I like about world building, is you get to dive into a culture and then you come to dragua which is actually calderon a thousand or so years later there's a massive war where the dragons rise above the gods and fight the gods for control but uh calderon is destroyed in the uh in the fighting and uh Shoot, what's his name? What did I name? I have his note. I have the notes somewhere. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, where's... So, uh, Dremir, who is the dragon god of creation, and his sons and wife uh, fought to, you know, become gods of the world and rule it. And... The world is destroyed, and Drea, his wife, is killed. Dremir's wife is killed. And to cement his control and also 
uh, remember his wife, he... I'm going to put it down here. My one side for restricting things, so it actually makes sense. He uh, mends Dragula with her broken, you know, dead body to, like, kind of remember her by. And as you can see, I kind of etched a little dragon, if you notice, into... Uh into Dragua. And that's why it's called Dragua, because it's made of a dragon. But that's it's Calderon kind of morphed to something else, something new. And Dragua was a very fun campaign. We didn't sadly get to finish, but it went on for a bit. And they start in Yalantar, which I named the whole backstory is that the elves still believe in the old gods and they worship them. And so Faerun is like the elves, you know, where they hide and everything. And, uh, Yolantar is kind of a Norse warrior college, which I, I, I found it funny that I put the mage college there. I just kind of found it funny. Dead wilds. No one has ever been there. It's kind of just a barren place. They're going to go there eventually. That was actually their next stop, but they only got to this rune. There are five runes. Uh, here, you know, here. Oh, wait, did I make it four? No, five. Here, 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 and here. One for each major place. Uh, then there's Las Tova, which is like the center. It's like Russian, almost. And then you have Yuraknan, which I based off... Was it Renaissance? It was like Renaissance culture, almost. Yeah, it was Renaissance. Yeah, and Feru... Faerun is where, like, uh, all the elves fled. So, yeah, those are the worlds. And this is a world I've been working on. Uh, but I haven't, like, as you see, it's very light with everything. I haven't even named it. But it's, I, I just was sketching it out, figuring it. Uh, I really like the design I've gone for so far. It's really cool. But, uh, yeah. We're going to do one from scratch. This is just an exercise I like to do to uh, kind of help myself. So it's got to be kind of rough, but uh, let's start figuring some stuff out. So one, let's go with a uh, fantasy world. Where's world? World names. <laughs> See, I don't like any of these names because they're like <laughs> the unmade terrain. Like that's not... That's not a world, that's a territory. Do they have like any one... See, the, this is some of my problems with a uh, fantasy name generator. Is that like, sometimes it just doesn't work. Hmm. Do I have another world? World Defender, World Destroyer. How about country name? Because countries may work. Country, nation names. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. Let's just go till. So what we're going to do. This is just an exercise. We're going to go for the. If I like it a lot. Because I have the right to veto. But we're going to go for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Seventh down. So fourth from the bottom. The next one. If I really like it, we're going to take it. Ofrar. Ofrar. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to use my one veto. I don't like that that much. SBA. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. SBA. That's the name of the world. SBA. All right. So we've named our world now. And now we have to start building it. And the way I start is I usually just start sketching or uh, drawing a map and kind of going off that. So I'm going to bring the size down. Now, I always kind of try and make a world have one defining feature, one important defining feature. And trying to think of, let's see. Uh, 
So let's see, is there a random generator that we can do? Tat Yo, we can get a tattoo parlor in here. I didn't even know. Let me see. They have so many. What the heck is this? Other names. Hmm. Like, so when I... Do I smell new DD campaign feed the boys? Yes, you do, Brendan. Yes, you do. I'm... I'm just thinking of a world idea. SBA is the name because I use a random generator, but I'm thinking what's the because I like the building worlds with defining traits. So, for instance, Dragua was, you know, made from a dragon. Uh, your world is, you know, essentially uh, the continent we're on is essentially Europe. My old one was uh, had a big divide in the center. So I'm trying to think of a good a good uh, defining feature of this world. Whether it be like, oh, it's, you know, a bunch of segmented islands or it's, you know, just one massive country or something. Something interesting about it. But yes, you do smell. You are smelling correctly, I should say. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I actually really like the idea of a bunch of segmented islands. That actually, yeah, that's cool. I think I like that. We're going to go with islands. Because like all my favorite, like this book series I'm reading right now, Mistborn, very famous. Like the defining trait of the world is that it's one of the defining traits is that it has ash raining constantly. Were there be spoilers or can I keep watching? You can keep watching, Brendan, because uh, I'm not going to spoil. Spoil, like usually I do campaign when I build the world I don't think of the plot as the world I just think of the mythos and I like my players knowing the mythos coming in to the world so yeah you can keep watching yeah I'm gonna go with the segmented islands I like that so let's start drawing some hmm so we obviously have to get the Japan out of the way because Japan is like the most famous island nation we have to get a Japan style country in there. So, but I don't want to make it look like Japan because I want to be, let's see. So I'm going to one, have it in the right. It's going to be kind of North, but big enough. So there's going to be one really big nation, which I'm actually thinking of making it a kind of, I like basing things off certain cultures. So I'm going to have the North, a very big Island in the North. And kind of make it this Norse warrior kind of style. So it's going to be a very big island. It's got to be like a Greenland island or an Iceland. Japan the most famous. Yeah. I mean, Britain, I guess, but it's Britain. So why would I want to acknowledge Britain? Yeah. Why would I again? Why would I want to acknowledge Britain? I don't care how influential uh, the coloni colonization Britain has done over the world is. Japan is more influ influential in the, in the modern era right now, I would say. Definitely. Modern era, I should say. Over time, definitely Britain. But again, it's, it's, it's the UK, so... I, exactly! Who wants to acknowledge, like, hey, your mom's... Like, Ireland? They're cool. Scotland, they're cool. Britain, no way. Wales, pretty cool. But Britain, n n no way. No way. <laughs> no. Anyway, let's make our kind of Denmarkish, Swedish island. So what I'm thinking here is something kind of... Actually, wait. Let's change the color, too. Let's go back. I want it to be this white. Kind of style. And I'm just going to kind of go for a random sketch. Sort of. Right now. Actually, wait. Let's go more this way, too. 
What I've noticed over my time of mapping islands, let's fill this in, is, or like just countries in general, is that you don't want it to look too circular. Because countries are very rigid in like, like, let's just look at the world map, world map, MPA, no map. Like if you look at countries, look how rigid they all are. Like not a lot of them are like super rounded edges. They're all like very sharp or like just rough because like that's how land generation works. So you don't want it to look like this. Oh, that's a bad example. You don't want it to look like that. That is what you don't want it to look like. That just looks unnatural. That's why I prefer this tool. That is the best tool. Because you want your stuff to look natural. And like it draws the players in. And like people... If you're like even writing a book or something. It draws people in more of your map. Like that's what I like about Tolkien. Tolkien. Middle Earth map. If we look at that. Middle Earth. One is just a part. Like... It's just a part of a bigger world that we never got to explore because Tolkien didn't write it. But like, he drew all this by hand. I think, well, one of these. He drew one of these. Yeah, he's put them in his books. He drew this by hand and it's amazing how good it looks and he made it all himself and it's just, it's amazing. Like, his world. And he makes it look so natural, so flowing. And that's where I take a lot of my inspiration from is Mr. J.R.R. Tolkien. One of the best writers of all time, I might add. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna fanboy over Tolkien. Hmm. I don't like the look of this island. This is this is essentially not an island anymore, but I want one big nation, because you know that's just kind of how it go, how it be. So this is kind of going to be the Norse style I always like going for. I'm actually going to give it a little peninsula here, I think. I think that looks good. So it has two peninsulas. Maybe like a city here, uh, you know, in the bay. That's very natural. Because, you know, it makes sense to have a bay city. Because one, you can defend it really easily from both sides and stuff. So two bay cities, major port cities, and then... Up maybe further north is something like a, let's say, here, let's put something down. Like there's a mountain range up north that, let's say, hides ogres or such. Like we could theorize about that, but we don't want to go, we don't want to go too deep yet because we want to make it, we want to get the rest of the world before we dive into one nation. That's how I die. That's how I do it. So next I'm going to, oh wait, but first I'm going to color this white though, because it's snowy, it's northern, and maybe a couple tips of it are going to be grassy, but moreover it's going to be kind of a snowy nation, because it's heavily up north. <laughs> like... Obviously, there's summer months where it's not, but just for the representation of what it is, it's going to be kind of, you know, maybe the edges are a bit grassier, you know. Like, that's why there's so many ports is because there's grass. That's why there's good ports is because there's grassland. But again, it doesn't make sense for there to be grassland up this far north. So you want to be careful with how you do it. So in fact, this whole peninsula is going to be just that. Okay, now we're going to move on to some other islands. And I'm thinking, so I'm going to kind of get an island right here, I think. Maybe. And this is going to kind of be that Japanese island. And I don't want it to look too much. I want to take inspiration from Japan, but I don't want to take too much, you know. And something that makes islands look really cool 
in my experience, is having more segmented islands. Off the side as well. Like that. See, that looks cool. I think. That looks like a good nation. So I'm gonna do that. Because I like I like wider tops. So the general like shape of the nation is a bit more Japanese. But the uh like let's let's say it has some northern islands as well. A bit small ones. You don't want to forget tiny islands. Boom. That looks amazing. So this is going to be our Japanese style nation. I'm deciding that now. Uh, let's just color it all green. Except for the northern part. We're going to give that a bit of snowy detail. And in fact, just for continuity's sake. Boom. Actually, I really don't like that green. That green is kind of ugly. That is also ugly. How's this look? Eh. That also looks disgusting. How's this? That's okay. It's a bit flat, but... Okay. In fact, actually, land eight. Actually, let's try parchment two. I like the parchment style a lot better. So the styles that, yeah, the parchment looks better. I think. And actually, let's kind of zoom in here. Let's do it. Let's zoom in here and do some finer work. Let's kind of make this a bit more water green. Wait, why is the water not? Usually you can change the water color. But I'm going to kind of around these islands. Because it's like these islands are a bit tropical. Going to have a little green, you know. That one's just going to be full green. Give it more of a tropical feel, you know. You feel me? Oh, that green. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Actually, no. We're going to go with this parchment one. I want to see how that looks. Ooh, I like that actually a lot more. On just everything. Whee! Wait, why aren't you? Hello? There we go. Hmm. Man, all this stuff locked behind premium is pretty good. Unfortunate. But uh anyway, that's another nation down, at least in concept. So let us begin anew. And I'm trying to think of what Kind like archetype of nation I want to make next. Exactly, like all the nice stuff is locked behind a paywall, and I'm like, do I do do I want to do that? Nah. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a sort of. Yeah, that's another place I was thinking of doing as well. That's good too, but I want to get like the civil, the, well, quote unquote, settled nations first before I do that. Because that, 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 where that one goes, like the ex unexplored one, deter, like, is determined by where all the other places are. So... And also, we have to think about the scale of the world. Like, this is probably the size of, like, China in our world. It's a big nation. 
it's the size of China. This is probably like you'd give this the size of Britain, maybe. That's no, that's too that's too big in scale if it's the size of Britain. That's probably like if this is the size of China, then we have to think that this is like this is probably Greenland Iceland level. Nah, not Greenland Iceland. Let me look at a world map for scale. So like China, like that's probably, I guess you could consider it more of an Australia. Or am I? Australia. But like, it's not as big. <laughs> oh no. I'm trying to think of an island to compare it to. Definitely don't. I don't think you'd even consider it an island, but we're going to go more island in the south, I think. Like island heavy. And this is probably where the unexplored will go. Make Australia. You know what? I should make Australia. But it should have like the toughest. It should be where they go last because it is like the toughest place. It's the toughest place. It has like the most dangerous creatures. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the last nation I make because it's the last place they go in the campaign. <laughs> But, uh, so we have kind of our Japan style. I guess Japan is the best nation to compare to, sort of. Uh, because I need to also think if this is like a round globe, you know, then this should be dot jutting out over here as well. So I need to think about scale more, which is actually why I should edit this map a bit. Just a tiny bit. Because this is going to be the whole world, not just a section. Actually, it could be the just a section of the world, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But I just can't get the scale that I want with uh, free, which is the problem. Actually, kind of here. I'm going to take this away for now and I'm going to uh, if I want this to be the whole world because I kind of do I'm going to kind of mess with that so if this is the whole world then this should be kind of jutting out like here almost I feel like I'm trying to think how oh that's the track still Yeah, kind of like that. <sighs> that works entirely. So if we're just thinking on a world scale. But that doesn't look good. Hmm. Actually, you're right. All right, I, I'm, I've decided. We're just going to go for a small part of the world. Oh, I can't go back far enough. To, I have to redo the island. Unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, actually, that this just lets us get a new design in that we kind of like. Maybe even better. I'm thinking of an outline. I kind of want it thinner. I like that shape. I like how thin like that gets at certain points. Actually, I do like this shape a lot. And then started making islands that jut out from it. Boom. Look at this. This, I think this actually looks a lot better than the other one. 
I like that a lot. Oh, wait, we should also have maybe add some islands here. Oh, wait, we should add like a... Ooh, so what we're going to do... I had this idea. We're going to add these like weird straights that look like scratches. That no one has ever explored. I have a reason for it, too. So don't you worry. Don't you worry about it. They're going to be all frozen. They're going to be like an ice. Like, almost like the North Pole, you know? They gotta be super icy. And people are gonna have a lot of questions. In fact, maybe they're not even discovered yet. Maybe no one even knows about them. They've only maybe seen them. In fact, actually, I'm gonna go back on them a bit. I'm gonna go back on them a bit. And kind of take a couple away. And redo that one. And actually, let's just redo them all. Let's redo them all. Because I want them to look better. And not so wide. Let's go on some track. Because I also have to think of scale. So, like, maybe they should be this long and thinner. Uh, but those don't look like scratch marks. Ooh, I like that. Definitely like that a lot. No one knows what's there at all. In fact, who knows if they've even been explored yet? Who knows if they're inhabited? Maybe they're just a barren wasteland of ice. And we'll think of a name for them later. Okay. Now, we go on to some more island nations. And we're going to make these kind of smaller. They may be less significant. But I kind of want, like, a um, Arabian island, like, a Muslim, almost like a trading post, you know? Like, so Middle Eastern style, that kind of style. So I need to think of, like, they're definitely going to be in the arid desert. So maybe, like, a desert island. Maybe, like, an Egypt style of island is what I'm thinking of. Kind of down here. And then, like, in Australia, sort of here... And then maybe something here. I'm trying to think, though. Yeah, I like that, actually. And there can be a bunch of other smaller island nations that... Ooh, we should make an alliance nation. Like, an, a bunch of islands. Kind of maybe... You know how, like, a bunch of the, uh, shoot, what are they called? Southeastern Asia? Is that, no, island nations are like a, there's like 200 or something of them. I forget what they're called. Let's see, 200 island nations. Isn't that a, isn't there a nation with like 200 Pacific Islanders? Pop, like, there's, an, there's a nation that has, like, almost 200 islands. Or is that just the whole Pacific Islander? Pacific. Yeah, Polynesia. That's what it is. Polynesia. Micronesia. Uh, Melanesia. I want to do a Polynesia style thing kind of down here or maybe here. So like there's going to be Australia, the quote unquote Australia. Then there's going to be a arid desert and kind of in the center here is going to be the Polynesian kind of style. And they're going to be like an alliance almost. So let's get our desert down. 
Hmm. And they're going to be sort of close with the Japanese style island. I want a blockier shape. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. I don't like how boot that boot like that looks. I don't want it to look like Italy. <laughs> that is a literal boot. You know. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to kind of bring it down like that. I like that. I like the look of this nation right here. I like that a lot. That looks good. It looks like Alabama. <laughs> or no. Looks like, yeah, it kind of looks like Alabama, honestly. If you just look at it. <laughs> looks like Alabama. Oh, man. <laughs> it's definitely in Alabama style. Uh, then... So, to make this look more deserty, I'm gonna need to find something. Like this? No, that looks a bit green. Maybe just the solid yellow. And the defining trait of this country is it's going to have a big old river, which I like need to zoom in for. And get really. It's kind of so we're going to treat this like the Nile, you know, it's got to be like a delta up here. Ooh, that's too big for me. Let's try like the size two. Two is really big as well. What the heck? Go oh, one. That's make it less rough, I think. And like all four of these, and we're gonna get one coming like here. These are all going to lead into one river. Ooh, that looks real good. That looks real good. I like that a lot. Actually, we're gonna. Nor defining traits. Big old river cut right through there. Makes it look more natural. In fact, we need more. This, I want this to be like a solid wall. Because the lore I kind of want to spin behind this nation. Which I'll get into when we start diving into nations. Because it kind of just fits the nation. But now, we're going to make Polynesia. And we're going to use... I feel like we're going to use that. Uh, a very tiny size to make these. So I need to think. How I want to do this. I'm going to have this maybe. Yeah. Just start kind of making islands. Give them kind of defining traits, you know? Like, ooh, this one's long. This one's kind of bigger than the rest, so it maybe has more sway. This one's really... These all kind of... I want to make these islands almost look like they're supposed to interlock.
like that. I actually really like how that is right now. One sec, I actually wanna. Let me zoom in here. I want to find the delta as very, you know, as a grassy area. Because that's what a delta is, you know, it's actually super marshy and grassy. like along it is a very grassy area and actually so I want to do that first so it's actually like super yeah I like that I like that okay okay now we need focus more on the Polynesia <laughs> uh then let's add kind of a bigger island right there I think And just a little dot there. And then we're going to start kind of doing the dot. I like to call them dot islands. Where you just kind of start dotting things, you know? Make it, it, it makes it look a, like somewhat natural that like, oh, there's a bunch of these dotty islands that are like too tiny to see. Now we get to like the two level islands. Like, oh, wait, what the? How is that a two? That's literally the same size as a seven. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? I forgot one. There we go. But I don't want to do too many because then it looks just... Actually, in fact, I think I have too many already. Don't like that one. Uh, those are too close. That, I think, looks perfect. Um, then I actually want to add one more up there. Boom. And actually, let's add kind of this loner island out here. He's sad, lonely, but he's still a member, you know. And now we have our kind of alliance. Scattered island, Polynesian style. Sort of. Now we're going to go for a big thing. Australia. <laughs> the unexplored where actually it's going to be slightly on the map not even going to be fully on the map because and we'll design this part of the map later in fact not a lot of people even know because it is decently far down, which to make sense that it's decently far down and no one knows about it. It has to be far enough away and small enough on the size. So for scale wise, scale wise, this the distance between this and this. So like here's the equator of the world. So these are actually very solid like quote unquote island nations. They're actually very big. And like in here I'm thinking there's a lot more scattered tinier islands than you can see. Like you'd have to zoom in on a map to see them and you'd have to do like your own special map of this. Like that's what I'm probably going to do later on in this quote unquote series I'm going to do. As I'm going to make like a bunch of tiny like a bunch of just singular singular maps for these countries that's the plan at least so like i want to say that this is the equator and like the distance from here to here if we want to think world map wise is like the distance from india to somalia like that's what i'm thinking I think that's a decent distance to think of. That's like a like definitely India, Somalia, but this one is even closer. So I'd say it's like almost like Gulf of Mexico kind of size. Which like, let's see. 
how long does it take to cross the ocean i can spell three or four weeks three to four weeks so this like travel between these countries is going to take a decent amount of time like here to here like that's pacific so this is like this distance this is not the same distance so i'd say it's like two weeks of travel trying to find like trying to go from island like from there here to here and then this is like a week of travel because it's like half the distance and then distance from here to here is like three weeks we have to think about scale like this is probably three days travel from here i don't know maybe even a day if we're thinking of scale then these are probably like day depending on the island it could be like a couple days trips because you have to like find your way around the islands and stuff and not get confused <laughs> like hey are you coming to the island of uh bahui oh no i'm trying to look for sola Oh, that's a bit further south. Like, you know, you're going to get confused if you don't know. <laughs> uh, I think I want to do like, you know, because I haven't done like a European besides Norse. Like I haven't done like a because like this is Norse warrior culture. Like, you know, barbarians. Cool. Uh, strong Ben, you know, Vikings kind of style. I want to do like a uh, just kind of a European medieval fantasy nation kind of like here maybe but i feel like that may impede on some things and it could be that this is just kind of the part uh hmm. chat what do you think do you think i should do that kind of island like uh almost like a britain uk island or like a france or something italy do you think i should do that Mm. Mm. Oh, did I just click on Steam on accident? Whoopsie. I could probably fit it in. Couldn't I? I could definitely fit it in. Like maybe right here. Oh, why is my Steam out? I don't want that. Here, maybe if I fit it right here. I actually like it being there. Ooh. I kind of want it thinner at some parts though. Like not so, not so like bulky. But that's like too thin. So I want, uh, I want to look a bit like Britain. That looks good, I think. Hmm. Does no, that looks too flat. And I need a finding feature of this island. Ooh, actually. Hmm. This up here just looks too straight, so I'm gonna kind of mess with it. i make it look a bit more natural, you know? Kind of just add random jutting points. Almost like you're fluffing hair. That's why I can like. That's why I think of it as like you're almost like fluffing hair. You know, like like foof foof, mess it up a bit, kind of thing. That's why I think of when I'm making these islands. To make them look a bit natural. We're gonna. Oh, that's way too small. Most of this island is going to 
Half of this island's gonna be snowy, and that's the part we call Scotland. And that's gonna be a grassy area, sorta. The bottom. It's gonna be like very fertile. I want like that's gonna be its defining trait is like the fertile. It's actually like a very well off and influential com country. And then this place is gonna be like semi fertile, but I'm gonna have things in the middle called mountains. That are going to make it, you know. In fact, now we're at the phase where we can start making the, uh, we can start making this, uh, the countries more in depth. So let's, I'm going to start with the Northern country. So the reason I kind of want to keep this a bit more stalwart is because outside of this is why this nation may feel a bit more cut off ish and like standalone ish is because I want to add a mountain range on its edge. Now, there are going to be some openings. We're going to save that. Just We're just going to save it real quick because I don't want to lose any progress if the site crashes or something. But we're naming it. Uh, it's going to be like kind of a Norse style, obviously, like I've said a bunch. But it's going to have this like almost just wall of mountain. And it's going to kind of contribute it to it being very cut off because it's like these highlands almost. These high cliff mountainous kind of style. So, like, you see, whoa, most of this bay is cut off except there. Then we kind of come here. And, like, whoa, most of this bay is cut off. And then this nation is just going to be very almost, it's well defended by natural kind of. It's naturally defended. And that's why it's such a great nation to live in. Except it's very cold and a lot of people die because it's cold. Do they have any different mountains actually or do they lock those behind a paywall? Oh, wait, no. They have snow mountains. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, they're dang it. They're all locked behind it. I got so excited. I was like, oh my word, those mountains look perfect, and they're locked behind a paywall. Sadness, sadness, sadness. Yeah, whoa, that is a... You said this was a small mountain? Do not believe it. Actually, wait, if we're thinking scale, I just realized that all these mountains need to be tiny. Er, tinier. So we're going to have to come here and just zoom. Delete. And we're going to have to lower the scale. There, that's the right scale, I think. So there's only these breaks kind of where people have made cities, which in fact, let's put those cities down right now. Would you say it's similar to topography of Iceland where there's a lot of, a lot of those mountains are volcanoes? Hmm, that's something I haven't thought about. You know, that would be interesting, but I was thinking that 
because when you think about volcanoes or not, you don't think of volcanoes as defensive naturally. You think as them as destructive. And I want these to be more of a defensive style of, uh, you know, defensive mountains. They defend the countries they live in. Okay. That's, that's kind of what I was thinking. They're very much like defensive instead of, like, I was thinking the island nations could be Volcano. The island nations? Because, like, that's how a lot of those Polynesian islands were formed, whereas because they're in the Ring of Fire, right? So I was thinking they could be Volcano. Maybe there are a couple Volcanoes, but I was thinking they're more defensive. So we're going to put two cities there and there, and then their capital, which I'm going to make slightly bigger, because that's how I roll, right there. And that's kind of putting stuff into scale, sort of. And this is just light details. I haven't done anything crazy. So, like, we could say, like, a couple of these along the coast here all of our, are volcanic. But, you know, say, uh, I don't know what the proper wording is. Uh, I'm thinking, any ideas about, like, what else to put in this nation? Because I'm trying to think of something. I need, I need, I, I need to steal your guys' ideas. Um, and I'm giving no credit. No. <laughs> I do like the idea of the mountains kind of coming up this way as well. Kind of defending them from whatever is that way. I mean, it would suck living on these islands because you can't just go straight there because there's mountains. You just have to come around. Maybe a religious monument somewhere deep in the nation away from those cities? Oh, you mean like a monastery almost? Hmm. We're going to have to think of the religions before I do that. A place where you would make a pilgrimage to. Ah, I see. We'll have to think of the religions when we do that. I definitely like that idea. So, I'm going to actually... I like that idea a lot. Let's see. What is a good marker of that? Uh, Man, I remember this thing was a lot more lenient on what you could use. Okay, we're going to use... Oh, wait. Why did I open the bridge? I meant to use the tree. We're going to use this... We're going to make a big old tree. It's going to be that big old tree there. That's going to be <laughs> the uh, site. And it is just going to be a big old tree. <laughs> and we can think of it. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Brendan. I'm not giving you credit, though. <laughs> uh... I'm trying to think of something else. Actually, wait, I want to resize this city to be a bit bigger. Go 60. Because it is the capital. They had something really... So yeah, it's uh, Yggdrasil. That's why I had the idea to make it a tree. Yggdrasil. I do like that, though. Very good. Uh... You know, I'm just going to place a compass because I think it looks cool. Mm. Uh, it does fit very well. I like it a lot, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to add some hills, I think. Because, like, they have a, like they have these hills that I can add that I think would look really neat, like. Like, oh, when you get north, there's, like, really rough hills. Like, it's kind of a rougher area. It's almost, like, massive. It's almost like snow dunes. Or, like, the tundra. It's like tundra up here. So, like, and it kind of surrounds the tree. 
It's like a tundra up here. So like when you come into this nation from this city, which we'll figure out the name for eventually, you have to come through almost at the tundra and you have to make a very long pilgrimage. But the reason the city is here is because a lot of the na a lot of the towns in this area need a way to get their goods traded to certain places such as this country this country that that and this country this one is here because it's closer to the capital and a lot of the things here need a way to get their goods out and the capital is kind of just well defended naturally because of the the wall and I, ooh, i'm gonna take a note of that other countries call norse country the wall big ideas here very big ideas <laughs> um then we can let's move on i think this nation is like before we we're not doing a super deep dive we're just thinking of its characteristics and i think those are some good characteristics okay so now what i want to do is this nation aka britain a la britain type nation is let's figure out something <sighs> so so trying to think like it could be a so for instance let's figure out where the capital is let's go with 80 on that i think the capital can definitely be kind of this area aka where london sort of is london's closer to the coast but actually wait since their yeah their country's capital is going to be closer to the coast I think it's going to be kind of here. And my reasoning for that is they're very friendly with uh, pseudo Japan. So they really like the, uh, the Japanese. And they want to their capital kind of spawned from a lot of trading. So if we're thinking about this kind of like a British country, this country used to be very divided. It was multiple nations, but one nation rose above the best, rose above the rest, and kind of led them to a unification. And that some of them are not happy with, you know, just standard, uh, standard British things. Man, I really like ha hating on Britain. It's pretty easy to. <laughs> uh let's do some that is big mountain that is a big mountain what the heck oh my that's also a big mountain i like these mountains a lot more though so we're gonna bring that scale down to a Solid 10. That is way too tiny. Let's bring it down to a 20. Let's bring it up to a 30. There we go. Actually, wait, 25. Boom. We're gonna... I like mountains. I think mountains make sense in almost every country, except maybe the desert country and these, but, but there will be volcanoes. So I think for these three countries, there's going to be a decent amount of mountains. Uh, so what I think we're gonna do is kind of defending their northern 
This is like, this is why no one, like the wall is not recently discovered, but it was like one of the last nations to find each other. And the reason being is because the wall didn't really get out of there that often. And they, when they came this way, all they saw were mountains. And so they thought in their religion that there was nothing past the ocean except more mountains. I think that would be a very neat idea. They even went down along the south and found nothing but mountains for so long that they just couldn't even understand it. I think I like that idea. I like this nation being surrounded by mountains in the top half, but, oh wait, shoot. That would actually make, wouldn't that make this a desert or a dunish tundra? Cause not a lot of moisture can get in here. If they don't have any way. I just realized that. So that actually, that doesn't make sense for how this, I want this nation to go. Because you have to always put in that ecological, scientific stuff, you know? Even though it shouldn't be in creative writing. In fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of make mountains here along this way. So there's going to be mountains this way. Or maybe mountains are inland. Ooh. I was, I was thinking they kind of come here and like down through the nation they're kind of like a rocky mountain line almost and there's like the people who are on this side oh wait wait wait, wait. that's actually a perfect idea i found a perfect idea is that there is a nation that is... Oh, wait, I don't I want that selected. There is a nation, like, here that's separated by these islands... Or by these mountains. So... But, like, they're still unified. It's just that that was their natural defense. And they're the last holdout for the... Uh, the big country here that, like, takes up the majority of this island. They're the last holdout and they defended... I think that's actually a really good idea. I like that. Geopolitical climate, baby. Basically whales. Yeah, essentially whales. <laughs> uh, I told you I was basing it off Britain. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I need to make a river through this nation. I just realized. Make this one. But what if I just... Oh, wow. You can go super in detail with these. I didn't even realize. That's actually... Uh, but I kind of like the natural... Like the natural look of... This, like subtract tool and stuff. So we go... We go one here. Uh, yeah, we go one and we go subtract and... I want kind of a big inland river. Oh wait, I should put a city here too. 80, or no. 50. Go put a city there. And we're gonna put a city there. I like that. And actually, I'm trying to think of another trait to give this nation. Actually, I'm going to put a small... Oh, no. 
go back. Just think about this one is going to be even smaller. Okay, we're gonna save. I think I've kind of given it a lot of personality already. And like, there's obviously things I can't put like on this basic map that I want to put in there. Like there's rivers, there's lakes, there's hills. There's a bunch of detailed stuff that I can't put on this major. So for big scale, this is good, I think. Now we're going to move on to Japan. Japan. So we're going to put there. I'm going to think of where I want the capital for. Oh, not that. I want the capital right here. Right there. Because it is a bay and bay capitals are cool. <laughs> uh, that's a very big mountain. We go back to 25 on that scale. And what we're going to do. Ooh, we're going to make this a volcano island. This is going to be a volcanic island right here. These two, they're going to be volcanic islands. And who knows if these volcanoes are still active. Uh, but we're going to, I'm going to add some inland mountains, I think, up here. That kind of run as a chain along the side as well, but they're a bit inland. And they almost create this basin. And that's why there's going to be a slight desertish area in this air in this place. Oh, that's the wrong color. Is it this? Yeah. So there's going to be a slight desertish area. Kind of changes the climate, you know? I don't like how round that is. Make it rougher. Be rougher. Let's give it a 40 roughness. Whoa. Size I'm trying to go for. Okay, let's not give it that. Let's take it down a notch on that roughness. That looks way too clean. I like how clean that does. That done does look. Give it a 12, maybe? It just doesn't fade well. Probably because it's parchment color, you know? So I have to find a more... How's this look? Ugh. Ugh. That's the same color. I like this color too much. Why is this more fady than the others? It's not like fading together like I want it to. I mess with like something I shouldn't have. I guess I mess with something I shouldn't have. I don't want that much being. Yeah, so the idea is that this is kind of going to be a desertish area. Just, why are they? Uh, oh, well. No, I don't want smooth. I don't want it smooth. Why are you making it smooth? Oh, I can go by grid if I wanted to. That's actually kind of neat. But I don't want to. So, uh, 
Yeah. I kind of like how rough that is. I like that. Let's subtract. Or put the L in there. I guess that's how it's staying. I don't know why it's like this, but yeah, that's kind of the how I kind of want it. I wish it was fading in more, but it doesn't want to do that. Maybe it's. Was it something I said? Was it something I said? What did I do wrong? Oh, wow. It takes pro to do that. That's disgusting. Oh, well. Let us. Hmm. I actually wait. I want to make these mountains go up a bit further like almost to the tippity top and then we're gonna do one big mountain one cool big mountain Gotta go eat and dinner. Good luck with the rest of your stream. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you for coming and chilling. I appreciate it, homie. Hope you have a great dinner. Uh, hmm. I like that. I like how this nation is structured now. And when we kind of go deeper in, there'll be a lot of other cool stuff. But, uh... Now we move on to Ooh. now we move on to our Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Egypt, the traders, as I like to call them, the traders, not traitors, traders, not traitors, traders, they trade. Okay. And what we're going to do here is down in the rough, the south is going to be the rough part. It's going to have a bunch of desert hills. It's going to be like this rough deserty area. But I was thinking of calling them the plateaus and the reason behind that is, um, I was, well, I just want them to be a plateau, you know, and they're gonna like kind of start here at the bottom half, but they're gonna be, hmm. wait one second. Sorry. A thought just occurred to me. I don't like them being, I want them to be kind of this bottom half or bottom quarter. So there's a, there's a gonna be the plateaus. Why do I say it like that? I'm not from Cali. I'm not. I'm Ohio. And I say stuff like I'm from Cali. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, big city right there. Right there. Smaller city. Right there. Also small city right there. Boom. Big brain. Bigger brains. I just realized that all of these are quote unquote singular nations in one big old country, which I think can work. But we could have like a civil war dynamic going on a couple of these, I think. I think that would be pretty cool. Or maybe one of these. Maybe this could be the civil war country. Because like Egypt has a history of like, you know, 
north and south, upper and lower Egypt. You know, upper and lower. Until is united. Ooh. I just thought of something good. That. Not gonna show on the screen. Okay. Perfect. Now I can bring this back. Okay. I like that. I like the idea I just came up. I just don't want to spoil it because people could watch the VOD that are may play in this game. Oh, there's not a lot I really want to add here. Except another capital city. For the plateaus for the plateau plateau for the plateau one in the foreground yeah there we go so it's going to be the plateaus versus the and a lot of people know about this. It's going to be the plateaus versus the uh, other parts of this country. And this is all desert. Everything except here is desert. And Let's see, because wasn't upper and lower Egypt map? If I'm correct, lower, yeah, lower Egypt was the top, upper <laughs> Egypt was the bottom. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. It just is. And that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be upper, lower Egypt, except it's going to be upper and lower blah, blah, blah. Uh, now we're going to come to the capital. Uh, now we're going to go to the different place. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a big idea, too. There's going to be a mountain in the center. That is going to be a big plateau. Like, big, <laughs> words, I word good. You know, sea serpent just to look cool. Uh, I'm going to put also a and I remember that I could get so much stuff from these assets but now they're just like nah man nah you have to pay for that you gotta pay for that you gotta pay man we're going to use we need to add some forests i just well actually no i'm not gonna add forests because those are going to be on the smaller scale uh of the maps you know this is looking pretty good so far I'm just detailing major cities uh, and the such and such, you know. I think this is pretty cool so far. Okay. Boom. Capital. Right there. Really nothing else because I can't do a lot. Literally going to be the capital island because it's the big one. And that's really all I can do, I think. For this side of world building. Now we have to name everything. And actually wait. No I need to put some tinier cities. That hold some influence. 
so pretty. We gotta put one there. This island actually holds some. This whole island. And. You know, we're actually gonna give one of the small islands the benefit of the doubt. Just say. This smaller island up here actually has some sway over the northern island. And we're gonna split them into four distinct groups. Sorta. We're going to just split them into kind of the western. The, well, actually. We'll get rid of that one. We're gonna split them into the northern islands. The middle islands. The southern isles. And the lonely islands. Those are going to be the four distinctions, I think. So now we get to naming these countries. And we're already on the country one. So we're going to go for this country right here. Well, where are we going to name it? We're going to choose... Actually, wait, I actually like Zekanofiana. <laughs> oh, wait, Skuara? Actually, wait. I know what I'm naming this country. Skuara. Lower. Upper Skuara. I like that nation name a lot. We're going to bring that down. Same with you. You need to come down. We're gonna just make it fifteen. Can I put you here and you here? Actually, what does 20 look like? That's a bit big. 18? Oh, 18. 18 is a better size. Cool. All right. So we're going to name the northern country right now. Uh, it's gonna be the fourth, uh, the third one from the top. Ochijan. That doesn't fit the style, so we're gonna actually, we're gonna name that. We're gonna name this country Ochijan. Oshi, Oshijan, Oshijan. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Middle. Or the fifth one. Rhubar. Eh. Eh. Mm. I feel like actually since I just have a set theme, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Actually. Actually, Seblastan. Seblastan? I like that. I make it more of a orange? Nah, white looks best. This one can be a bit bigger since it just gives the nation a bit of a bigger feel, you know. Sebastian. Yo Braden. Ochbar. Oh, Obria. I like Obria. Obria looks 
Sounds the best for uh, down here. The Obrian Alliance. Give it an 18. And then we're going to give it like small little subtext like. Oh, no way you're not typing. Nor. Okay. Nor. Obria. South Obria. Lonely. <laughs> the Lonely Island. We need to make these a bit tinier. I think. Since they're like. They are not one nation. Like the whole nation. Yeah, that looks good. Now we need to name this country. Let's just find uh Estria I like. Estria. I like Estria a lot. Uh Estria. Estria. Oh wait, I like this on a lot better actually. How's this one look? Let me see it on syllabus then. Oh wait, actually that looks a lot cooler. Sinzil, I like Sinzil a lot. Oh sorry, on Sinzil. I also don't look how like the Skiara. Actually, wait, I like Skivara better. Skavara sounds cooler. Skvara. 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 <laughs> sounds like I'm saying Skara. Good Twitch streamer, by the way. But Estria. I like Estria a lot. And Espia needs to be very big over here. Espia. It's going to be like 40. Uh Hmm. What should I name that? I think we just name it the wilds, the unexplored. Cuz it doesn't have a name yet. The un wild. Espia doesn't feel like it has a place to be. Espia. It looks like Espia, not Espia. I'm going to take away that E. Espia.
no, this is not wrong. This is a nod to, <laughs> to freaking Egypt. We talked about this. <laughs> uh, and this can be the shattered. No, shoot. I realize that's already taken by someone. Uh, the Baron Claws. The Baron Scratch. Oh, you've never been to the Baron Scratches, have you? Oh, wait, the Scratches sounds even more intimidating. I like that. Now these are the scratches. All right. Espia. Boom. We have made Espia. An island section of Espia. To go scale, this is the size of around China. China. Okay. Then this is Estra, which is British. This is kind of the Asian, Japanese, you know. This is N Norse, by the way. It's Norse. Uh, oh, wait, actually, I would like to add some subtext here. Oh, the wall. The wall. Ah, uh, there, yeah. So Sebelstan. The wall. Then you have the Obrian Alliance with all of the different Obrias, the four Obrias, the Lonely Island. <laughs> I just as a <laughs> and it felt so good. Uh, but you have North Obria, Middle Obria, South Obria, and a Lonely Island. They all divide into factions. Then you have the Unexplored Wilds. No one knows what is there, but what is there may haunt your very soul, or could be settled. Who knows? It's essentially Australia, Mike. Then you have Oshijan, which is a Japanese style. Then, 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 you have Lower and Upper Skarva. Skarva. Skavara? Yeah, Skav Skavara. We'll call it Skavara. You have Lower and Upper Skavara. Who fight for who will be the next king of United Scar Scavara? Who knows what happens in that country unless you're from it? Uh and now what I'm gonna do is start working on the cultures. Seblistan. The wall. Why do I have three cultures? Okay, so now we work with bullet points. Sablist. They spell right. Seblistan or the wall. This is actually real quick. I'm going to take a break just to stretch my legs and stuff. BRB. <laughs> 